Well, hello, Libra. Sorry about that. Welcome to your general reading for September. Hope you're doing amazing. Thank you for being here. Now, remember, this is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign. If you need a private reading with me, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above. I'm also on Instagram, and pay, or Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. There are pick a cards, weekly readings, uh, special messages. I'm also giving away something every month this year. So check that out. Super easy to enter. Super easy to win. And Libra, let's jump into your first half of September energy. We have Angel of Love. Door to Romance. And Anxiety. Libra, it looks like love is here if you want it. It's really up to you, you know, and this may not even be love. It could just be your happiness as well. If you want it, it's here. It's very interesting because it looks like what you want is here. So some of you could be with someone. Not getting what you want, but you're going to find it in someone else. So whatever it is that you're looking for is here. It may not be in front of you right now, you know, like directly in front of you, but it is here. So. A lot of you have to leave something behind or start a new cycle. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay. With an open heart. That's the first step. Also, I'm seeing that you need to be kind to yourself. You know, you may be having like um, a bit of a struggle with achieving your life path or life goals right now. Um, but you need to really be kind to yourself during this time. You know, I feel like you're figuring things out. You're going to start a new cycle with that as well. So you have to give yourself some patience. some kindness some of you are getting tired in your everyday just everything that you do every day it feels boring or um, you feel like you're stuck in the rat race so let's see what's on the bottom of your deck we have the three of cups and the nine of cups so this this half of the month is about you achieving happiness of, of some sort for you This is about being content and finding happiness where you are. Very interesting. So Libra, what I'm feeling is you have everything you need. Whether this is a love situation or just in your life in general, you have everything you need to move forward or to be happy. It's really about a different perspective or waking up to something. Okay. So we have the magician, the three of wands, the sun, the strength, the ace of swords, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and or the Ace of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. You're on the edge um, of manifesting what it is that you want, right? So I feel like you have all of these ideas that you want to do, things that you want to start. Um, it could be something that has been on your mind really heavy. Something that you want to do. Something that you want to achieve. It is about you taking action. That's what's going to make you happy. And that's what's going to get you stuck out of a situation where you feel disoriented or that something isn't working. So when it comes to your love life, there's something that you need to do. Uh, maybe confess. This doesn't feel like get out of anything. This feels like a confession or expressing feelings. If this is about work or career or your life goals, you need to keep moving forward or make some sort of step or some sort of stride in that. Okay.
Yeah. This is a time to really take care of yourself. Okay. It's about taking care of yourself. You want to feel confident. You want to have a stable and sturdy future in, in love or in life and career, whatever that is. And the way that you have been doing things so far hasn't been getting you there. So it's time to take a different route or do something differently. So a lot of you have been holding back on something and it's time to release that. It may cause a little bit of unrest, but that's okay. It's like you have to do something to get it moving. I don't feel like, and I'm going to express this. I don't feel like it's going to be 100% successful right out the back or right out the gate. Okay. It's making me feel like, yeah, if you're dealing with someone else, they have a decision to make. They need to think about it. Right. But you will start the process and you're not going to know what's going to come out of it. But it's about starting it. That's the important part is you starting it. Okay. Okay. So a lot of you have been stuck in a career or a love situation um, and looking to find some sort of clarity or some definite choice of what to do, okay? Um, I feel like you should keep looking at ideas. I feel like you're coming close to some sort of idea um, on what to do next, especially when it comes to your career. Yeah, just the fact that you're opening up, just the fact that you have the idea is good. It's kind of like you're realizing that there needs to be some sort of change or some sort of movement. I'm also seeing that there could be an apology coming in to some of you. But for whatever reason... I don't feel like it's almost like you get what you want. You get the the answer, the feedback, the communication that you want, but but it doesn't feel truthful. It doesn't feel honest. You don't care about it. You know? Um you sense that there's going to be another problem or the problems will continue. It's like you're not so much in love that you can't see. This is another person. These are two separate people. Yeah, so I do feel like somebody reaches out or sends out some sort of feelers. And even though you thought that this is what you wanted, you realize something else. That's what that feels like, okay? This is confusion about where to go next, like a, a career, a job, or feeling stuck. Feeling like you need some sort of inspiration. I feel like during this time, this is how you're going to feel. Um, they, they're not saying anything else with that. It just looks like you want some sort of inspiration. But I feel like you, yeah, you have to make this inspiration for yourself. Absolutely. You have to achieve and find happiness for yourself and what makes you feel happy. This is about following your heart and love or career. It's like you know all the facts. Really, you do. You've been loyal to something for a long time that you haven't been happy with. And you're the key to make that change that you want to make. The hardest part for you is going to be making a decision and feeling comfortable with it. Yeah. I feel like either way, Libra, you're not sure if you want to be in something 100%. This energy in these cards just tell me that you just want to be happy right now. You're not sure about the future. You're not sure about what's next. 
but just strive to be happy right now. Okay? Let's see what cards. Okay, let's see your spirit message. Unmarked trail, woodwives, and dances on one foot. Yeah, so spiritually, because this is a spiritual message, everything is revealed to you. You're realizing where the struggles are in your life. That has that has been presented to you. You're aware. Okay. Now it's about what it is that you're gonna do. How are you going to change your life or? Or make your life more victorious so you can feel solid, right? So the next step for you is going to be figuring out how to meet your goals or how to meet that next goal, okay? So it's different. The scenario is different in career or love. So let's say it is love. Um, you're figuring out what who makes you happy around you truly. And then adjusting your life so you can take advantage of that. Um, if this is career, it's like you're not happy where you are, but you're learning how to adjust to it for the time being. Okay. It's like you do have plans for happiness, better future, better tomorrow, but you got to put some sort of plan together to make it happen. Okay. So I love you so much, Libra. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.